the, the weirdest feeling I've ever had in my life. We're watching the boy about to go at him right now. First time ever live. Gotta get up and slam him again. What's up, boys? Listen, you guys all know that we are Chevy guys through and through, specifically ZR2 guys. But the Chevy Silverado with unstoppable grit and commanding power that ro ra rages that rages through the highways are setting us up with a whole new thing, and that is called the Super Cruise. Listen, hands-free and tow hands-free on more than 400,000 miles on compatible roads. What more could you ask for? With over 138 million miles of hands-free driving, the Super Cruise will help you get to your destination energized and hands-free. Go to Chevy.com to learn more, build one out, build a Silverado on your own. Don't be a loser, buy a Chevy. Buy a Chevy, buy one. Big hugs, kind of kisses, please subscribe as well. Also, we love Chevy Silverado. Guys, we just landed in New York City. Taylor and my beautiful wife came with us. We don't need to show on the camera right now. She'll be seen spotted throughout. Point out how many times you see Taylor during the, uh, the vlog. <laughs> There's one. Uh, JP Hovey obviously on the camera. We are here for Michael Chandler's fight. We are in New York City, the first spot. We go drop our bags off. Where can we get a good bagel? They say Utopia, Utopia Bakery. We get here. There's a line pretty much out the door. Everybody's been fantastic. Somebody sniped getting a table. We work through that, but now, I got a freak bagel here. You got your cheddar, the jalapeno cheddar bagel. You got sausage on there, bacon, cheese, egg. I'm gonna it for you right now. Juicy. I wish the bagel was a little more thick and a little bit more toasted. I love the amount of egg they put on there. I'll tell you what a sleeper thing is that people don't do with bagel sandwiches is putting cream cheese on the bagel sandwich. That's a, to me, that's how you just skyrockets. The meat's good. I like the texture of the jalapeno. There could be more sauce on here for me. Overall, I'll give it a 4.5. Mm. Nathan Worksman, who is my lawyer, he is taking us to Central Park. We're gonna go see Balto, what the people want to see and know and love. So maybe feed a couple pigeons too. I don't know, dude. The real New York experience is what we're looking for. So that's what we're doing, man. I know, believe me. You do this one. I was having a good nap. Hey, do you have any pigeons? Excuse me, how much How much for this? Five dollars? Can you break a hundred? Oh wait, hang here. I think I have five dollars. You have five? Yeah. Supplied by JP. Shopping's Hull. huge in New York. Shopping, baby. Just trying to do everything like the locals. She told me it's an antique also. Very rare. This is for your desk, no? I'm sure yeah, you have yeah. the will. Holy it's pigeons. Hey, and they say, y'all were saying they're oppressed. Pigeons. They used to have jobs, now they just do whatever they want in life. Migration, we gotta find that one peg-legged pigeon. The tiny one. Who is that? Is that your friend's girlfriend? Friend's girlfriend? Was oh, that Swifty? Yeah. Travis. Should we get that for Travis? All right, maybe we'll come back. Maybe we'll come back and get it for him. That's a good looking squirrel. A lot of trash in this city, but the animals are so well manicured. Beautiful. You gotta feed one of them. Gotta feed one of them. That's a fucking human right there. That's a New Yorker. That's a New York camping. That's what they do. What do you do? Oh, I'm camping today. That's what he's doing right now. Excited. You see it? Oh, I see. Not even gonna bring up Togo right now. Not even gonna bring him up. The dog that did it all. Uh, I don't know if that was According part of the to the movie. movie. I, was like, I don't know if that's part of the movie or reality. That's a good looking dog. He is, bro. Fun fact also huskies are the worst know, family animals castle. you could possibly have. She yeah, loves them. First time? No. It's not my first time. Take a photo. You yeah. grew up a Dodgers fan? I grew up a Dodger fan, that's right. Was it your decision to leave the game early? Yes. <laughs> yes! 100%. Thank you! No regrets, I'd do it again. No! Dude, do we again. were in the car on the way back to his parents' house. I would do it again. And the person commentating goes, if you left the game, I have one question for you. What is wrong with you? And he literally was just talking to me, Nate, and his brother. 
We, I mean, we, hey, listen, we didn't see bat, one the, score. The, the first three innings, we sat there like, oh, let's, hey, let's, let's grab a, whatever, a churro or whatever. All the runs are scored, and then no runs are scored in like the sixth or the seventh, then we left the seventh, and then it goes to overtime. Walk off Grand Slam. Look at this. Well, let me, let me ask you this. Most convenient thing for you, because we'd obviously love to see you, but I know what it's like before competition, how you kind of, like, people want to see you, but you're like, I don't want to see anybody. So just tell me where you're at mentally. Okay. All right. Send me the address you're staying at. We might just pop by and say what's up. Bye -bye. We just talked to just talked to Mike. He is at his room. Doesn't want to do anything. As every person who ever does competition does not want to do something the night before. But he said, "Hey, you should come by the hotel. Say what's up." So I think we're gonna go check check on him. See how the boy's mental capacity is doing. Let's just see a behind the scenes moment of Michael Chandler before he fights Charles Oliveira. Let's go to that. What's up, man? What's up, man? Oh, How are we? Oh, you feel bam, light. I hit you. You feel? Yeah, dude. Yeah, hey, you're a little, chilled little, lighter, up, little lighter than beer Olympics. A little lighter. Oh, oh this is my room. This is my room, so I've been spending all my time. Good. Good. How long have you been here? So I got junk oh, everywhere. So uh, I got here Sunday. Yeah? Have you been, have you been switching? No, I just throw, I usually, I had a bunch of stuff over there, but I cleaned it up for you. Yeah. Clean it up for you. Nice, <laughs> you know, oh. I know how you like a nice clean room. How's it been, bro? How do you feel? Good, man. Just, it's crazy how different you look. I mean, that's what everybody has said. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I spent the last two years like bigger and out of training camp. Mm -hmm. Dana's like, dang, dude, you look freaking trim. And I'm like, yeah. Where did you do weight cuts at? Here? Here. Yeah. Uh, first floor, like the floor below the lobby. <clears throat> that's where yeah. our offices and workout rooms are. It was, uh, it was the easiest weight cut of my life. So. Really? That was like when we were at Lipscomb, you were like, I just don't want to cut weight. Yeah. I was like, bro. That is really funny. That was the biggest thing. You were like, was, I really just don't want to get out of 155. That was when I had to wrap my mind around it. I was like, man, dude, like, I just spent the last year and a half excited that I could finally do the thing without doing the worst thing mm -hmm. for it. You know, enjoy a whole fight week, not be hyper focused and crazy about the weight cut. You know, it's like, fight week is tough, not because I'm worried about the fight. The fight's the easy part. Would you weigh, uh, so you weighed in this morning? Yeah. Would you weigh last night before you started weight cuts? Um, I, I got down to 158.2 and then I drank about uh, 750 milliliters, which got me up to 159.75, almost 160 after a couple of cubes of ice. Mm -hmm. Then I woke up at 158.6 and then I cut two and a half, 2.6 this morning. I actually got down to 155.6 after. Oh, shit. So it was never. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. It was never in doubt. No. You should keep your weight cut going because this year for Thanksgiving we're doing the most buttered turkey. And so we're going to, whoever wants to can still weigh in before and then we're going to have a trophy for whoever gains the most weight during Thanksgiving. Oh, I got it. Yeah. Juiciest if you stay where you're at right now, you're going to crush. I'm going to slowly, slowly expand my stomach. Yeah. It wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't that bad, thank God. It's more just the, the time that you think about it. You mm. know, it's like, it's like a legitimate six days of, it's the only thing you're really focused on. And then I had more media than I've ever had in my entire life. Really? Take the last two fight weeks, combine them, and that's how much media I had. In this what was, what was like the common theme re revolved around the media stuff? Was it, it was just, I think they, I don't know if the UFC, UFC setting, you know, setting it up, trying to reintroduce me back. Mm -hmm. And also, obviously, I needed to reintroduce myself to all the partners and all the broadcasting countries. New, I mean, I did, I did worldwide. I did Asia, Australia, New Zealand, Mexico, freaking Hong Kong, India. I mean, I did it. I did it all. I went yeah. for Mr. International. While you're going wait. Oh, yeah. I had to be so miserable <laughs> yeah. the whole time. Well, the first three, I'm betcha like, man, Hong Kong, sick, Australia, dope. They finally, like, okay, India. Yeah. Okay, India. Yeah, yeah my, my, my problem this. was I was really mad at myself. I think it was Tuesday. I, I had like five hours of interviews. When I say back to back, I mean, I get done, I put this microphone down, and I walk three feet and I grab this microphone and speak to another person. And about two and a half hours in, I tell our, like her name's Nikki, she's, have you met Nikki? Maybe. Might have met Nikki, but she's like one of the, my PR person here. And I was like, hey, I'm hitting a wall. Like I, I need to have a snack. And she's like, oh no, there's just a couple more. And I said, I was like, Nikki, I don't think you understand. When I say I hit a wall, I mean I actually hit a wall about 30 minutes ago. Mm -hmm. And now I'm actually running on fumes. So I had to like stop and walk out of the room and pull myself out. Okay. And, is that my dad, baby? What's up, yeah. sir? How you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you too. Come on in. 
You got your shirt on? Or is that all the stuff you got? No, I'll get some other stuff when we show up for weigh ins. Oh, all right. Do you want to bring these? No, I got some oh. snacks. What is this? Yeah. <laughs> Make sure I got my key. Mm -hmm. A little while. Update just saw Mike. I'll be honest, he seems in much better spirits than I thought he would be. A little uh, story for you guys about eight, nine weeks ago when Mike was trying to figure out the fight, whether he was going to do this fight or not. He One of his concerns was like, I just don't want to cut all that weight. And obviously it took two seconds to be like, you, you can do it. You've done it before. You can do it again. Guy looks like a piece of metal right now. Mm. Like he is obviously way thinner. High spirits, all that. We go to the elevator, about to go down the lobby, and I forgot my Lucy's in his room so i had to run back up he's going to the weigh-ins right now we are also headed to the weigh-ins do me a favor folks and just put prayer hands up prayer hands for for mike chandler because we're the vibes this weekend obviously when this vlog comes out you guys already know the the results but where i sit right now we're just excited about a mike chandler win all right boys appreciate you as like the baddest dude ever. Steve, you have an amazing opportunity to regain your crown tomorrow night. Give us your thoughts on this whole thing. Well, Ted, I like and do. Good luck to you, sir. I'm here with the goat. Sit y'all back here like this, huh? Sit so back here, man. He says, sit down, shut up, don't say anything. Sit down. Man, they ain't got, got the lights on one squad, not y'all. We're gonna yell the whispers to me. It's a pop. I don't know, I was boost. You want him. You want him. Yeah, you boost. You want the boost, right? Yeah. You want the boost, right? yeah. yeah. The boost are the best. They taste the best when you get the victory. Boost does taste good. Have you seen any time? Hey, Paul. Hey, how you doing, man? You good? I'm good. Good to see you, brother. You all right? Face wrap up. Rose for you, brother. Have a good one, man. Yeah, we'll see you. You see the cuts, dude. You see the... Remember we saw him at UFC? Yeah. yeah. Just waiting for Michael. He'll be the last one. Yeah, you guys can ride with that out of here. Hey, give me my key, dude. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm a freaking room key, dude. I told you, dude. That was the one promise I could make to you. You will never forget the moment that you stole my room key. Left me homeless in New York. Co-main locked out. <laughs> Three six nine. Go to his room. Hilton <laughs> left me homeless in New York, dude. Hey, love you, buddy. Love you, bro. I'll see you uh, yes, tomorrow. At the top. Briefly. See you at the top. <laughs> see you at the top. <laughs>
See you at the top. See you, bro. See you tomorrow. See you at the top. This is like a... Like Under Armour, when you do like the Under Armour All-American game or like Combine and stuff like that, this is the exact same setup. Everyone just kind of shuffles into one little area and they put you in a corner. In the blue corner? Yeah, there's a wait. Corner. No, not necessarily like that, but like the, the, when you sit and wait for this type of stuff, that's how it goes. So it is, it's crazy to see. Is this? Imagine just Nuts. Like Nuts, dog. Just crazy. Let's see as well. This is Taylor. Mickey, Taylor, what's up, Mickey. dude? Good to meet you. Mickey, nice to meet you. Nice hey, I'm a big uh, O line fan, bro. Oh, it's yeah, the most dude. badass guys in the field Let's all day, bro. Go. I appreciate that's the front that. line right there. Hell yeah. I'll be rooting for you tomorrow, man. I appreciate that, one. man. Let's yeah. go, bro. Yeah. See you tomorrow, man. O line head. Come on. Okay. Maybe I still got him. Oh, what's up? How are you, buddy? Good to see you, too. Good to see you, too. Been like two months. Yeah. Been way too Did long. you just get here now? We got here early today. We've been running around a little bit Central Park, just having some fun time. Yeah. And now we got here like 10 minutes. We were like having a hard time getting in. Once we got in, how we doing? It was man? all Good to see you. But yeah, man. Just want to say what's up. What's up? Yeah, do your thing. I'll see you tomorrow, right? Okay. Yeah. Appreciate you. Well, no gambling here, so I don't know what the fuck I'll you're going to do. I'll see you December. You have to have some snuggle time. Yeah. Well, hey, <laughs> he's, he's already trying to get me to download. We were, fl we were fine here. <laughs> yeah. We will be going hard this. tonight. Yeah, yeah. We'll be down in. The sickness is real. It is real. It's only getting stronger and stronger. I feel like the longer I'm away from Vegas, the more I'm like hurting. All right. All right, brother. Bye, baby. Good to see you. You guys? You think I could have been a good fighter? No. You got a button. Cut the fucking camera, dude. Days Vlog's over. dead. <laughs> bagel review number two. That's a bagel. I got a thing called the, the hangry. Obviously the everything bagel. Got the egg in it, the bacon. A little bit of jalapeno in there. And what is that? Is that mustard? That's egg. Some bacon. Looks phenomenal. It's already got a better look than Utopia yesterday. Utopia just didn't, didn't fill my heart up. Onion also. The seasoning on this bagel is way better than the last bagel I had. I'm only just comparing the two at this point. I think the other bagels were a little more fresh, which has got a little staleness at the top, not as much crisp. The egg's better. I'm telling you what bagel places are lacking here. Some cream cheese on their uh, on their bagel sandwiches. Does Nashville have better bagels? They might have better bagels. No, it's might Proper bagel? Proper bagel is, all you get a proper bagel is just pure cream cheese, pure, uh, that's all you get. So you have to compare comparatively. You're right. You're right. You're, okay. right. You're getting You're right. sandwiches here. You're right. You're right. This tops uh, Utopia. Love the spice of the jalapeno. I love how they have full jalapenos in there. Yeah, Overall, right. I give it a 4.5. Spy games. Two different ways you can do it. You can do the HQ where it's like you learn about what kind of spy you would be. We chose the game segment. We're going to play all the games and become spies. Who's going to win? Me. Probably. More nimble. You have bad knees. I have bad knees, but I am willing to press a button. Mm. Is this the start of the thing? <laughs> yeah, dude. Spy games in the middle of New York. Number it's one actually... rated museum in New York. Really? Museum. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how this is considered a museum, but... Give it another title to anybody. We're about to find the floor. museum way more fun than i ever expected if you have kids this is a spot to go they had a little field trip coming in too and low-key i think our squad me and gp we got top three and like two different ones we got top one so we're out there operating 007 movie they have actors i'm willing to do a read i'll do one read for the new 007 movie and it's all the confidence i need is based on this 
Now we're gonna head to uh, HQ, New York. We're gonna go shoot with the boys a little bit, hang out, watch Gamecocks, go. watch watch Nebraska. Thank God Michigan's on a bye week. I need that right now. I need to recharge my batteries for next week. We'll see you in a second. Let's fucking go! No! Fucking amazing. You look amazing. What's going on, dude? What's going on, dude? Listen, when Trump walks in, they're going to get fucking 50 minutes standing on their shit. Like, I've seen him at WrestleMania. Sometimes at two, and he walked in. He got just as big a like, ovation as Hulk Hogan. Bro, time. you should, when he walks in, the whole place will you erupt. You look amazing. Right. You look Thank you. Appreciate it. Look how fucking thin you are. Right. See, I, I like your fat, right. chunky Irish looking uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, like, uh, no, it's, 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 no, but you were so good looking fat. Like, you look much more serious and more like, you know, like I'll steal your wife look now. You know oh, I, mean? I don't but, want that. But want then to... you look like the, like, just like fucking out. That. This guy's not stealing your wife at all, that kind of look. A no, tall, but tall you, tall no, you would just like choke the person out. Like, yeah. you would eat them. But you, like, but you look totally, I guess with the mustache, mm -hmm. too. Like, if you didn't have the mustache, then I would see the baby face. Yeah. I've been here over a year. Really? Yeah, it's yes. been forever. There's no one here right now. No one's here. I just, my, my son, no, my third son third is third in Florida. Third 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 what do you mean, three people? Yeah. Right, okay, there's three it's people here, yeah. right. So. I, I opened for Joey Diaz on Broadway, five nights, September, October, November, seven, January, in front of 600 people, paid 150 a head. So that's you know, 90 fucking, whatever that is, how much is 90,000 of fucking dollars. He wrote off that, I opened 15 minutes. I died it the first time, first time, I died it from like 225 to 175. I look fucking great. Right. Beautiful outfit, no marijuana for four months, working out, no sugar, no carbs, no caffeine. We get there. With like five comedians. He says, open your mouth. I'm like, what are you talking about? He made everybody eat mushrooms. Now we're fucking tripping. We smoked like six blocks. I couldn't even see. This was the first show that I actually was straight. Yeah. So much easier straight. Yeah. Like anything in life, really. Like, what are we talking about? Right? Right or wrong. Right or wrong. Right, 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 right. Your wife's, your wife's life's on the line. Your kids. You're going to be straight if you're going to do something. You know what I mean? Like, the, you know, only the my main show. So when I was doing a joke, they didn't come to see me. So I didn't even give a fuck. I'm like, when you smoke, at least for me, anything in life for that matter, what I was going to take a test or I was going to go out with a girl. If I smoked beforehand uh, or I was going to fight someone, I smoke beforehand, any sport, I've already won. Like, I mail it in, I'm like so happy that I'm not motivated, really? like I'm like dead already. Yeah. So not smoking allowed me to really, even though I'd say half of my material is way long-winded, and you know, I'm not a pro, it's my like sixth time, first time ever doing a long form thing. I get a lot of, a lot of just experience mm -hmm. sitting in front of the people, holding the mic, looking at fucking people walk out and stay, and my my rabbit fans scream off like people get moving up to the front yeah, because yeah, now yeah. we were Crazy we were still fans. we were still packed, but uh, doing it straight was great, and then smoke with the people at the end was great. So it was like amazing. My wife is humiliating. She hates the comedy for a week before we fight every single day because she hated it because she knows a lot of the show is about comedy. I say when I met her, I say how we ate acid, first time I fucked her, bled on my friend's bed, you know, everything. So she's humiliated. She's very private. She hates even marrying me. She wishes I die. She gets three million, rides into the sunset, at least has the better part of her life to relax, you know? Because she's very, you know, very conservative. Never wants to risk anything. I'm doing the opposite. I'm training. You know, you know, I live like I'm gonna die tomorrow. And if you don't have that mentality, you marry to me. You know, I've ruined the girl. She has to be married forever now. Right. But we're gonna be forever. You know, she's walked through it. But the comedy puts her over the top. Mm -hmm. She doesn't like it. You know, she doesn't even like when I take a picture of her and put it on the internet, which I do all the time. You know, you see all the pictures, <laughs> right? But all those pictures are really from the '80s and '90s. I do a lot of like retro, you know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Backwards. So it isn't like, you know, like a dinner when I make her at Arsenal, she hates it. But I love the comedy. I would do it right now, but she'd have a heart attack. And I have no prenup. And I don't want to, I want to get laid a couple times a week. So, you know, if she's mad about it, no shot. No shot. No, like she has it still fine. She's a little bit mad, it still works out. Yeah, like I'm not going to be up. I'm not going to have to whack it like twice a day for about another two weeks. <laughs> like she's going to make me pay. Great I, to see I love you. you. I love you. Have a great day. Whoa.
Love you, Stu. Hey, listen, Taylor, I'm ready to roll with you guys. I gotta, we gotta just figure out what. Yeah. Because we could take it to the moon. There's so many, just, we gotta figure it out. But you I know? would never want well, to- Well, when I move to Tennessee, then we're, <laughs> we're hanging every day. We do it every single day. Exactly. All right, love you, buddy. I'll see ya. Love you. It's my best friend and my wife's best friend are in Tennessee. So my wife would move there in like eight sex. There you go, sell your place. Come down. Listen, because I can sell my house for like two and a half million, so for two and a half million, I can get something super nice. And I'm super not, nice. And I'm not spending 50, 80,000 in taxes. It's a win-win. I love you. Love you. Bro, you Stu is here. one of a kind, man. That's what I'll say about that interaction. Good to see you too, brother. One of a fucking kind. I don't even know what to say. All right, as we hey, give to HQ, great time, Stu. A thousand words a minute on that guy. Watched a couple of games, it was awesome. And now, the UFC fights to watch the one and only Michael Chandler take on Charles Oliveira. And then also there's a John Jones fight going on too. And also RFK might be there. Also Trump might be there. And there's no rumor about this, but we're praying Elon Musk is there. Cause that would be elite. And we had good news of what we found here at the office. Oh yeah, we were running a little low. I was getting a little grouchy. Never forget these again. Okay, so we are at UFC. Obviously a lot of police here, a lot of security here going on. I wonder why, we'll find out when we get into the building. But I want to give a massive shout out to the one and only Mountain Dew. Obviously I brought Baja Blast because it is my number one flavor. Something about being on a kid on your bike, that 10 speed with $2 and change in your pocket, going to get a couple of tacos, mm. asking the lady at the front desk, hey, can I get a water cup or will you walk over and put the Mountain Dew Baja Blast? That is a core memory of mine. So yeah, we got Chandler fighting Oliveira. We have a massive John Jones fight. Is he his last one? Is it not? Up there, my beautiful wife on the right, Bree Chandler, wife of Michael Chandler up there. And obviously behind the camera right now, JB Hubby. It is going to be an electric night. I appreciate all of you watching this vlog. Do the do, boys. Delicious. Tastes like my childhood. got in this one? Goku. Hey, which one's Goku? Red shorts. Oh yeah, red shorts. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I mean, watching this after watching Jay Paul fight last night. Oh my God. It's so crazy. <laughs> right? <laughs> right.
good first fight. I love how hyped the fighters are. Oh, 
pressure. No pressure. No pressure. No pressure, bro. Good job, Mike. Atta boy, Mike. Atta boy. The body. You see him smiling? Yeah. Browns. Oh, oh, there there you go. Go. Stop it. That's good. Yeah. Nice. That's what we need. More leg kicks. Nice. Yeah, yeah, nice. There you go, Mike. There you go, Mike. Same thing. Come on, kid. Nice. Something crazy, kid. Just gotta get up and slam him again. He's smiling. Yeah. Do it again! Do it
Okay, fights were amazing. John Jones. Chandler, dude, was heartbroken from Mike. But that fifth round when he decided to stand up, take another man up from a piggyback ride, and then power slam him twice. Even when that man loses, he does not lose. A true warrior. I, I have so much love for Mike. We're about to leave and go back to the hotel, and Joey's like, hey, when are you going back? It's like 6.30 Southwest. He's like, I know, Bubba, come on. You fly, you fly with us. So now... We're getting on the plane, going back to Nashville right now. Shout out Jelly, dude. By the way, maybe, it's the, maybe the greatest come up of all time. This man. This oh, man yeah. right here. The greatest come up of hey, all time. Hey, man. What's up, man? On our way, man. Appreciate you guys watching. Please subscribe. Rate five stars. Yeah, hey, man. Subscribe, like, comment. Do it all. Do it all. Let's go.